Hello, it's Dr. Rhonda Johnson, and today is Friday, January 21st, 2021. And today I'm going to be talking about Omicron and comorbidities. But first, let's talk about what is a comorbidity. It's basically a person who has more than two chronic conditions. So let's say you have high blood pressure and diabetes, or you have sleep apnea and heart disease, or you have severe depression and substance abuse disorder. That's what we mean by comorbidities. Now, people can have two, three, four, multiple comorbidities. But what does this have to do with Omicron? Well, the evidence is pretty clear that people with multiple comorbidities are faring worse with Omicron just as they have fared worse with other uh, variants of COVID. So if you test positive and you have multiple chronic conditions, please do notify your doctor right away because you may be eligible for some therapies that you know are reserved for people with high risk conditions like the monoclonal antibody therapy and the antiviral therapy, which I know are very in scarce and in short supply. The other thing that you want to do is make sure that you're um, avoiding high-risk situations such as poorly ventilated uh, closed indoor spaces and that you're wearing a high-quality mask like a KN95 or N95 mask when you're outdoors. And of course, I have to give a plug for the COVID vaccine and boosters for anybody that has multiple chronic conditions. Now, I don't want to leave with giving you the impression that only uh, people who have multiple comorbidities are at risk for severe COVID outcomes. We always need to remember that COVID is an illness that can be unpredictable. Omicron is putting young people, healthy people, in the hospital and the ICU also. So keep your conditions well managed. And again, there are people walking around who have obesity. That's often a comorbid condition that can make any chronic disease worse or high blood pressure or type two diabetes and other conditions. And they don't even know it. Also smokers and pregnant women are at higher risk for severe complications from COVID. So remember, COVID may be mild for some, but it's not mild for everybody. Get vaccinated, get boosted, wear your high quality mask, notify your doctor if you test positive. And folks, that's my message today. As always, my views are my own, and I hope you'll be safe.